Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your How They Feel next move in Love Messages Tarot Reading. So Sagittarius, we're looking at you and your person, uh, no matter the situation, what's going on, you want to know how they're truly feeling. And we're going to look at, uh, see if we get a feel for what's going on right now in the situation, how they're feeling about that, how they're feeling about you, what their next moves may be, what do they want to tell you right now, along with Love Messages. So there's a lot to look at here. So Sagittarius, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So we do have the um, energy oracle here. I'm gonna get a kind of feel for, you know, what's going on. And then we'll take a deeper look with the tarot. We have the Rider Waite and see. Now, if you feel like it's not your reading at any point, that's totally fine. You definitely can leave it for someone else. You can also check out other readings on the channel. I do have some, have all your April readings below as well as a few of your March readings. So, I mean, all readings are timeless, just that's when they come out. So you can go back and watch other readings if you like to. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, so Sagittarius, we're going to see what is going on. Let's see. Angel of Balance. That definitely gives me uh, justice energy. So we have 48 here, which is 12, which is 3. Growth, expansion, building, rebuilding. Okay. Oh, broken heart. I did get this for Leo as well. And I also got the patience card for Leo, um, which that reminds me of justice. A little bit of temperance with the other card, patience. That's more like a temperance kind of card, but very similar cards in a way. But that one I definitely got for Leo. So if you are connecting or... Whatever with a Leo, you may want to watch that one too. Door to Spirit 32, 5, which is change. Could be a little conflict or it could be change. And first chakra, Archangel Michael. I got that for Leo as well. That is just crazy because I sh I've been shuffling like crazy between the readings, after the readings, before the readings. And you got two of the same cards as... Um, well, this one I might have gotten for Aries, to be honest. I think that one I got for Aries, but that one I got for Leo. But if you're connecting to another fire sign, you may want to go back and watch um, either one. So I kind of feel like here, Sagittarius, and if you feel like you need to switch the energies, if you feel like uh, if I'm saying something is them, but you feel like it's you, you definitely can switch it. Um, so the first chakra is, so we have 35-8, travel, action, infinity, putting in the work. But first chakra um, is the base chakra, so that is the basis, the foundation, stability. So somebody is trying to regain their balance and their stability and their foundation. This person could also be awakening spiritually. So they may have experienced a broken heart or maybe they feel like they know they broke your heart in some way, shape or form. But it looks like something's changing here. Balance and foundation and maybe... Uh, spiritual awakening or connection or newfound connection to spirit or it could be a spiritual connection as well for the two of you right Sag so let's take a look here so first what we're going to do is get more uh, about the situation here first and then we'll look at how they're feeling about that and how they're feeling about you uh, their next move possible next move in messages they want to tell you and then we'll get love messages after that all right, Sagittarius, let's see. So how are they feeling about all this? Okay, let's see. Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Oh my God. Okay. Magician. Knight of Swords reverse. That's kind of like the Knight of Pentacles upright. And the Hierophant. Hmm. That could be, you know, the spiritual, you know, spiritual awakening, ascension, you know, the Hierophant is morals, traditions, standards, value, growth, expansion, learning, uh, change, leveling up big time. Could be, and sometimes indicate marriage or divorce too. Um, so we do have the Queen of Wands in reverse here. So that could be Usag or it could be another fire sign. So they clearly do have love for you, but they feel unable to take action, but they are thinking about this new beginning. And the Knight of Swords in reverse is like the Knight of Pentacles upright, very uh, slow moving energy, a long time coming. I, th I feel like their ascension or their ch the change 
or them changing their mind or them leveling up has been a long, long time coming, but they're definitely fe feeling or thinking about their feelings for you or maybe how you felt towards them and that the energy is here for some sort of new beginning. But I see non-action here with the Queen of Wands reverse or someone lacking the courage or uh, the bravery to step forward. Hmm. You know, I don't, I don't really feel like this person's married. I mean, sometimes I can indicate marriage or something like that. Um, maybe some of you, you know, you have feelings for this person and they are in another situation. And you just want to know how they're feeling about you. You know, you may be feeling like they have feelings for you or there's a connection there. But maybe you know they're in another situation. You may be knowing that this could never be, but you just want to know how they're feeling about you. Some of you are wondering. Um... But I also feel like um, yeah, somebody's lacking confidence or they're not feeling successful right now. There's a king of wands, which is a match to the queen, but one's reverse and one's upright. So there are definitely the energies aren't matching right now for some reason for the two of you to be together. I feel like this person needs to get um, their life more in balance and uh, stabilize their foundation. Queen of Pentacles 2 and the Four of Cups. So some of you, this person could be in another situation and they are thinking about you. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. So some of you are just wondering how this person's feeling about you, even if you know they're in another situation. Whether or not they're getting out of that situation, I don't know. We'll see. Could be a possibility. Um, but I don't see action being taken right now. Hmm. Let's see, we got Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer. Aries, or oh, that could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We are in Aries season right now. It's almost like feeling brokenhearted that maybe the two of you can't be together because of situations. And so maybe it may just be a spiritual connection in this lifetime. Could be that too, but let's see. It may be feeling very sad over that. Okay. Oh, all right, Sag. So let's see um, how they're feeling about this whole situation. So, I mean, everybody's situation's different, so you don't have to take it out. Resonates. So let's see. Okay, how they're feeling about this. Yeah, High Priestess reversed though, but Star reversed is either feeling unfulfilled or not feeling hopeful. Or a wish isn't going to happen. But the Six of Swords is, you know, moving into peace, harmony, and balance and leaving something behind. All right, let's get a little more here. It's almost like they're not feeling fulfilled with their life right now. Empress and the Two, two of Pentacles. Hmm. So... Sometimes that two of pentacles can be two energies. Like maybe this person is in another situation and they're like, I don't know what to do. Should I leave my current situation? Um, I mean, the empress is, you know, a true divine counterpart. So they definitely could be seeing you as an empress. I feel like this person is a little bit stuck right now. So they don't know maybe whether or not to leave their current situation and to move forward to you. I mean, we do have the empress right there. But the High Priestess in reverse, either they're not trusting their intuition. I mean, if we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess both upright, that's definitely my spiritual couple of the deck. But the High Priestess in reverse is kind of like, usually upright is no contact communication, you know, with, you know, not coming forward, not revealing. But upright, it's about all, all is revealed. Hmm, interesting. So we have Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus. It's almost like this person's on the fence about revealing all their true feelings, but they're not quite sure how this would move forward, but they're definitely uh, seeing you as an empress, and they definitely don't know what to do either about you, their situation, or both. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Oh boy, so let's see. Eight of Cups, yeah, should I walk away? What should I walk away from? I don't know. And this could be happening like right now. So it could be like they're feeling like right now I need to make a decision of what do I walk away from. Seven of Swords, I mean. 
Hmm. That could be strategy or running out of fear, avoidance, judgment in reverse. That could be a clear decision as well. Huh. I'm not really feeling, I mean, with the devil in reverse, I don't really feel like they're in a bad situation. Maybe they, um, you know, maybe the fire and the passion is gone. You know, maybe the love is gone too, especially if they haven't feeling towards you. But they're also, they don't know what, if they should leave that situation, because what if nothing happens between the two of you as well? I'm kind of feeling that too. Something about being on the fence, I don't know what to do. Like, I just don't, I don't have enough information. I don't know. Um... They may actually, you know, tell you how they feel and want to know if you feel the same because they've been thinking about leaving their situation. And if they do leave their situation, is there a possibility down the road that possibly we could um, get together or whatever the case may be? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that's definitely what could be going on here with the Ace of Swords is definitely yes from the universe for some. Clarity, communication. New beginnings, cutting away what's not serving, standing up, telling it like it is, awakening, epiphany, aha moment. They're definitely feeling this connection with you, even if you're not together. So there's definitely a spiritual connection here. But you're not together in the physical, but you could be connecting uh, spiritually. Although we... Mm, okay. So let's see uh, how they're feeling about you. Let's see how they're feeling about you, Sagittarius. How are they feeling about you? Like I said, if you need to switch the energies around, you definitely can do that. Death. Mm. Okay. Nine of Swords. So they're stressed out about this whole situation. Nine of Cups. Can be a single energy for me. Um, I know the Nine of Pentacles is, but the Nine of Cups for me too. You see one person here indulging, uh, you know, indulging in their own wishes, you know, fulfilling, making their own wishes and dreams coming true. Very happy, indulgent kind of energy. Five at once. There's a conflict. Oh, they're so conflicted right now. Yeah, a lot of fear, uh, you know, don't know what could happen. They can't see the path clearly. They're not sure what to do about you in this situation. They're definitely conflicted. Nine of Cups, like single wish fulfillment. Should I? Two nines here. All the nines to me, you see someone alone in every single nine. So when I get nines, I always take them as kind of like a single energy. So this person is worried, like, what do I end? What ends? What do I end? How can I even say this? Like, where does it end and where does it begin? Like, they, they don't even know. What to end, where to end, what ends, what begins, what doesn't begin, where does the path go? They, they just don't know. So maybe there hasn't been any revealing of feelings towards each other, but knowing energetically uh, that there's something there. So we have Scorpio and Pisces showing up. All right, let's see. So that's kind of how they're feeling about you. Like they don't, they just don't know. Death is ending, new beginning. Transformation. Nine is almost ending a new beginning. Actually, we got three nines here. Three nines. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you met them through work. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Uh, five of Pentacles. But what if it doesn't work out? Then I'm left alone, out in the cold, with no one. So they could be worried about that too. Maybe I'll just stay comfortable where I am. But yet, do I leave it behind to explore this connection with Sag? Because I know there's something strong and powerful here, but yet, maybe not knowing how you feel either. So definitely for some, there hasn't been any talk of feelings towards each other. Wow. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if they're going to make any moves. Let's see if they're going to make any moves. I mean, we do have um, the full... No, the new moon is actually on the 8th. New moon is on the 8th, which is in Aries. Which is tomorrow. I'm recording this on the 7th. I'll be going out on the 7th. All right, so let's see, uh, Sag, how they're feeling about you. Oh, we already did that. <laughs> oh my God. 
on. Oh, okay, so yeah, they're thinking about this a lot. So let's see um, what their next moves may be. Oh, Page of Pentacles. Mm. King of Cups in reverse could be all revealing of feelings and emotions. Because usually that King of Cups are right can be very mature, love and emotions, but very reserved. Maybe holds back a little bit. Doesn't really show everything completely. Devil in reverse, getting over fear. To oh my God, two of cups. <laughs> wow. And the hermit. This person is doing a lot of deep introspection. Maybe this person is single and the hermit does give me single vibes. Or maybe they just know that you're single. Or this could be about them becoming single to explore the connection here. So they may just put this all out on the line and contact you. Sad to say, look, you know, I feel this way towards you. I've been hiding it. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Do you feel the same? I've been unhappy in my situation. I've been wanting to leave anyway. When I'm free of the situation, is a possibility for us to get to know each other on a romantic level? Is that possibility there? Because I feel like the deep connection here and I know you feel it too. Oh my God. Wow, okay, we have uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Capricorn. So they, they could be reaching out here. Um, it's going to be real and tangible. So whatever that means, I mean, I don't think it's going to be snail mail. I mean, I don't even think anybody does that anymore. But I mean, it could be. Um, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh my God, in a romantic gesture. Oh, sincere romantic gesture here is somebody... You know, they're, they're contemplating a singlehood here. Or maybe if they are single and you don't know it, you know, they may be coming forward. Uh, but they definitely want to clear the confusion here. And look at that. Is there a promise of a new beginning here? I feel it. You feel it? Yeah, because the energies are stuck here with the world. So something needs to shift and change here. Wow. And the world in reverse can also, um, if there's been distance, can be the return of someone as well. Hmm. All right, Sag. Looks like this person is going to reach out some way. So, um, it could be, you know, however you feel the, the, they would reach out to. So, however you communicated with this person in the past. So, if it was texting or email or um, something like that, uh, that's definitely probably how they'll reach out. Or social media, whatever that may be, private message. But let's see... Um, Let's see what else I want to say to you. What do they want to tell you right now, Sagittarius? What do they want to tell Sagittarius right now? Let's see. The Fool. I want to take the sleep. Energetic reset. There's something in their energy they want to clear. They want... It's like they want to know, I want to take the leap be able to clear my energy and take the leap but should I I mean is that what could this new beginning happen that's what I need to know before I take the sleep and reset my energy so we can be together that's kind of what I'm feeling here nine of pentacles to become single I want to become single and take that leap towards you page of cups I want to tell you how I've been feeling I want to make that romantic gesture temperance because I feel the connection here soulmate alignment Peace, harmony, joy, love, light, patience, healing, balance, soul contracts, past lives, divine alchemy. Look at that, the temperance on the two of cups. Wow. Five of cups reversed. I don't think this person, um, I hate to say this, but they want to let you know that if they make change and leave their situation, it's not going to be a sad situation because I feel like it's something where it's just comfortable for them. And maybe both have been wanting to leave it, but they've just been staying comfortable because, you know. But this person is not going to have any regrets. They're not going to have any regrets doing what they have to do so that you can have this um, chance to be together or the opportunity to be together or to explore this connection. Wow, so they want you to know that. So we got Aquarius... Pisces, Sag. That's actually you right there, Sag. Ten of Wands. So they've been weighed down by this for a very long time. And something also in their life needs to come to an end, but they've been blocking it, putting it off, 
indecisive about it. But they definitely they need to clear the energy first before they make plans for all new beginnings right here. Definitely. Oh, yeah, so they you know are ready to end something too. But I think they were just yeah, staying in an unhappy situation. Look, Ten of Cups reversed. But they would like to court date, get to know you. So I mean it's gonna take time. It's not like uh you know, all of a sudden one day, okay, we're to, I mean, if they have to get divorced or just leave a committed situation, I mean, all that energy has to take place first before you can be together, but they want to know if that opportunity is going to be there so they can do what they need to do. Wow. All right. If it did resonate, though, or does resonate, please, we're going to get some of these Divine uh, Masculine Madness cards from Bridget Rowe of Divine Essentials. See what else you need to know. But if it did resonate, please do like and comment. All those great things be greatly appreciated. And also Sagittarius, I have a website down below. So there you can find all my socials. You can find my store. You can shop for yourself. Um, you can check out the merch. You can also uh, check out my wish list if you want to buy me something or uh, contribute to something. You can do that too. Or just, you know, if you want to buy a latte or tip in the tip jar, do that too and if you do thank you but you know you don't have to but if you want to check it out you can do that too as well all right Sag so let's see and if you do thank you so let's see Sag um what else you need to know about this their love messages to you what do they want to tell you I finally see shadow work so yeah this person definitely has gone through a spiritual awakening and I think they finally know now that they were staying stuck in a very unhappy, just a comfortable situation. Maybe they should have left it a long time ago, but, you know, they just chose to stay stuck. And then, then they met you and like, well, you know, I want to get out of this. I'd be free and single right now to pursue Sagittarius. But I decided to stay stuck in a situation. You know, they should just leave it anyway. Even if it doesn't work out with you, they should just leave it anyway. Instead of staying stuck. I am... What is that? Oh, I'm worried about my legacy status. So it could be something revolving around that. A uh, legacy status. I'm ready to open my heart. Intimacy. Yeah, so I think this person is going to open up to you. And, okay, let's make plans for the possibility here. I definitely. Thank you for showing me what true love is. Unconditional. Wow, definitely could be a past life connection. I just want to escape mind altered. Yeah, they're just frustrated with everything. And your eyes see into the depths of my soul intuitive. So you could have had deep eye connection with this person at one point. Uh, very penetrative, spiritual connection. Even if it was just, you know, deep into each other's eyes or just in the energy field. Wow, Sag. Okay, Sag, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonated. Um, I think this person will reach out and, and just say, okay, I just got to tell you how I feel. How do you feel? And then we're going to make plans. I want to make plans. We're going to make plans so we can, uh, you know, step into the possibility of this. So that's what I feel. All right, Satch, that's what I have. I hope to help that resonated. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.